Hello, it's me, AMC me, or Ashley, and I'm back with an updates video for March. Um, just first off, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody that has subscribed, commented, and liked my videos from the Marry My Husband um, reaction reviews that I did. And I kind of think I got down my pattern or my editing style as far as doing reaction and reviews. Uh, <laughs> At first, if you watch my earlier videos, it's basically me, basically me do, doing a recap of basically the whole episode and me taking pictures because I know that YouTube likes to copyright a lot of stuff when you add videos in and I didn't know what the correct length was that you could use without it um, not blocking your channel from being, your video from being posted. And with a lot of trial, <laughs> a lot of uh, trials, I figured it out. <clears throat> so hopefully in the future, my next reaction videos, since I have a system down, it won't take as long for me to get them up. Um, speaking on Marry My Husband, <sighs> that show... I thought that drama was fantastic. I think some things were unnecessary, but I understood why they added them. Um, for one, <sighs> Yura. I know her character has been controversial. I agree with it um, because I didn't read the novel, so I thought she was completely unnecessary. I think I mentioned this at the end of um, episode 16 of my video for Marry My Husband. I think they should have added her in earlier. Them breaking up, I thought was also unnecessary. Though for that one, I got the motivation. I understood why they did it. With him thinking that he was gonna pass away because if it happens, it has to happen to you or you have to pass it on to somebody else. So I got that. And I understood, but the reason she broke up with him when Yura showed up, I thought that was completely unnecessary, especially when she said ex-fiance herself. And he told her that he broke up with her. So I kind of get like her being like, mm, I've been, I don't want to be in another shitty relationship where I'm with a cheater. So I get that. Uh, but overall, in general, I freaking love that drama. And even though I told, uh, I watched it many times to get like clips and everything like that, I would gladly watch it again. Um, so it will be going on my rewatch list. Okay, so um, on my community tab, I did a poll of which drama I should react to next. And my demon was the winner. So I will be starting that soon. But I do have some other series that I want to incorporate because I just like entertainment, pop culture, and things like that in general. So I uh, love webtoons. So I think the next series that I'll be putting up is a webtoon called My Seductive Wife. It just came out, so there's only nine episodes up right now, and I'm gonna be doing it in threes. So I'll be catching up with that pretty quickly, and then I'll start to do my demon. I do wanna do a monthly health check-in video to keep myself accountable. I think I wanna do like a random opinions video of just pop culture, or just things that I'm interested in that I heard about and just give like my quick opinion on it. I probably, that might be monthly as well, maybe. I'm gonna be doing some random YouTube reaction videos as well to kind of like break it up. I know uh, if you subscribed and you're like, I came for 
reactions to K-dramas, I'm still going to be doing that. I just want to add a little bit more to it than just that on my channel. I used to do YouTube back in the day. It's not that far ago. It was not that long ago. Um, but I did do YouTube and I did makeup videos and I did reaction videos to music videos. And we, we know how YouTube is with music. So I stopped doing that. And then I just stopped in totally after I got into Twitch. If you don't know, I do stream on Twitch. I play, I'm a video game variety streamer over there. If you do want to check me out, it's under the same name as my YouTube channel. Um, I would love to talk to you over there as well. I have a really great community. Everybody there is really freaking awesome and amazing. But anywho, I'm going to be posting once a week. I posted twice a week when I first started because Mary, my husband, was currently airing and they did two videos a week. So I was like pushing myself to get the two videos out and streaming two days a week and working full time. And it was a lot, it was overwhelming, especially after I have it filmed and edited in a while. And it was fun when I finally like found my rhythm, but I think my rhythm needs to, the tempo needs to come down a bit and I'm gonna be doing one video a week. I know I can do that consistently. So I'm gonna do that and so I don't feel like I burn myself out. Have a goal for my channel. It's a small one, I think. We'll see. Uh, but since um, it see, my channel seems to be doing pretty decent, I wanna try and do a subscriber goal of 300 by the end of the year. We'll see. What made me start back on YouTube? That's what I wanted to touch on as well. I love like just media in general, like different avenues of media, comics, webtoons, books, videos, movies, Twitch, YouTube. I'm a, I'm a consumer of media. Did I say video games? <laughs> um, but just entertainment, the different avenues of entertainment. And while I love Twitch, I wanted to explore and share my other passions that I have and that I enjoy. And I don't think Twitch, as far as me, for me, my Twitch, I think, is just ga gaming and maybe chatting a bit and um, stuff like that. And I think my YouTube, I can use as an avenue for me to express my other interests with people who might also enjoy it as well. So that's mainly the reason why I came back to YouTube again. Uh, it feels different this time. I don't know if I was giving myself some kind of pressure before, or maybe it's because I've been doing Twitch, so I, I'm kind of like already in the rhythm of doing it. It's just a different process. It just feels different this time and it feels more comfortable. The other dramas that I did have in the poll, I'll probably do those ones as well. They're all other, they're all dramas that I'm interested in interested in seeing. Uh, Devilish Joy I wanna see because of the actress that played Suman. I've seen other dramas from her, but I still haven't seen that one and I heard she does really well in it. Inho, my new crush. This is the first thing that I've seen him in and I want to watch more and I heard he's in is it Mr. Queen? I heard he's in that but I heard a lot of people say his character is an ass and I was like you know what no let me keep him lovable and he's in Jinxed at first which is kind of like a under the radar drama that I, the reviews on my drama list are kind of uh -uh, but I'd rather watch that. <laughs> Uh, what were the other ones that I had? Queen of Divorce, which looks like it's gonna be hilarious. Um, the guy that played the lawyer that got sick in Attorney Wu, he's in that and I really love him and it looks like he's finally like in a main lead. I've seen him in a lot of dramas, but I don't think I've ever seen him in a, male, a main lead role. So I'm happy to see him in that. And then what was the other 
There's one I'm missing. My happy ending. That one I think is a revenge drama. And I was like, I kind of just watched one. So that one I'll probably have on the back burner for a while. But yeah, uh, just a quick update video for this week. Um, I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day, evening, whatever time it is for you. If you like the channel, you want to check out the new stuff that's going to be coming, please give me a, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, because that's what the people say. <laughs> Leave a comment below on anything that I'm doing that you're kind of excited to see. And yeah. I thank you so much and I will see you later. Bye.